The pycoRNA virus is a sphere of 240 protein strands encasing a single RNA strand made of 8,000 nucleotides. It has 11 genes. Enlarged by 1 million times, the virus becomes 3 centimeters across and its RNA becomes 2.5 meters long. The RNA codes for the single long protein strand seen on right. Like a magnetic zipper, the RNA strand is nearly identical to an unpaired DNA strand. Each tiny lump is an atom, and each tooth is a nucleotide. Locking on to a cell's membrane, the virus is pulled inside. The capsid breaks open, the RNA strand unwinds and floats free. We see a cell ribosome lock on to the RNA. Our virus's RNA would be considerably longer than the yellow RNA strand in the Strawberry animation. We do not see the thick soup of surrounding molecules. Now the virus's long protein strand is built from 20 different amino acids. Each amino acid is carried by a specific cellular tRNA, the little triangles. The tRNA's three teeth lock into the viral RNA nucleotide sequence. This precisely directs assembly of 2,200 amino acids into one very long protein strand. The red strand is just the beginning. Once completed, the protein strand is cut into 11 segments. Each piece contains about 200 amino acids. The first four pieces fold together as a triangular plate. 60 plates are needed to construct the shell. In total, 240 of these protein strands assemble as a shell's hollow icosahedral sphere. Elsewhere, the long viral RNA strand is duplicated. The strands find the empty spheres, enter, and coil up tight. Within five to eight hours, an army of newly manufactured viruses erupt through the cell membrane to attack other cells.